Good morning, folks. We've got a number of weather disasters and top science stories to hit today. We're also watching plasma filaments dancing around the graveyard of an active region here. Let's begin there at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star with that former sunspot group's arching magnetic fields in the middle, plasma filaments embedded within, larger dark coronal holes south ahead and north behind the bright loops. We'll go to AIA 304 to see those filaments a bit better in ionized helium. Long, dark lines in the center are the coherent structures. With a quick look at the solar wind next, all is calm, and that does go for Earth's magnetic field as well. Let's go to Malaysia, the monsoon flow change that pounded the Maldives, which should have gone north into western India and China, is still too far southeast and this is what happens. Similar story in Uganda where a landslide near a village has killed at least five, but dozens more are still missing. Back in the U.S., the big story is still those afternoon systems dropping major rain and hail, and sometimes tornadoes. This is in Iowa yesterday where some of the hailstones exceeded injurious size. The last current event in geospace is the awakening of an eastern Russian volcano, which could kill many people and have appreciable effects on the climate. Hopefully it just goes back to sleep. Article is linked below. We're starting the research on a high note. The mantle is thought to be non-magnetic, but that is not the case. Sort of. In the cold, subducted slabs, the magnetism remains, even at depth, and they have recreated this in the lab. For those frustrated with tectonic science, yes, there are issues, but subduction is not one of them. 100% of blot echoes ever, ever, strike subduction zones and the cold slabs beneath them. Not only is that a 100% pattern, but you can't have quakes in liquid. The deep ones are how you know the crust is down there. Up next, an interesting look at migration in Siberia. Over the last 31,000 years, there have been three great migrations that have all taken place in the region. Of course, that time period includes the Younger Dryas, Lake Mungo, and Mono Lake magnetic excursions on this planet, and we know those cause migrations due to their climate effects. Let's get some awesome cosmology in here. The magnetic fields of NGC 6946 are something that will help us visualize the current sheet and sector boundaries on a galactic scale. The interior sectors are more numerous, and then they blend together over the outward distance in the galaxy to present only four sectors at the perimeter. This is, of course, vastly important because when Earth hits the Sun's current sheet, we get a global electromagnetic disruption. What happens when the galactic sheets hit our Sun? Sticking with galactic physics, they have imaged the dusty, cold torus around the central galactic nucleus of the Milky Way. Yes, this is terrific because it supports the torus jet model. The disk jet model is just a flattened torus, but also because the center of the galaxy has been imaged with dust-seeking scopes and satellites for years. If we are just finding this now, we see virtually nothing at cosmic scales in terms of dust. The dust and the plasma it hides is the missing matter of the universe. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.